Alright guys, so today is a challenge day on Friday, so today we're beginning the first set of challenges. And if you uh, don't know what the MetaHub challenge is, um, I did, I think, one or two videos about it. Uh, I think one. Um, uh, you, you could just uh, check my video and I'll also link the article about it down below. So um, if you guys don't remember, my challenge is that you have to use a rarity under me to uh, defeat me so that is quite difficult I might say um so if I'm using rares then you'll have to use commons but um of course you pick the rarity so uh, if you want to use uh, uh, commons then I'll use rares if you want to use rares I'll use epics if you want to use epics I'll use legendaries so I'd say it's quite interesting and um it requires more skill than um whatever dinos you have since you'll need to put more thought into it than just, you know, throwing out the strongest dinos in the game. You'll have to see what I have and then what you have, and then, you know, find a whole team of counters that are a rarity below that and try to defeat that. All right, we have our first challenger, RCR866. So they're doing commons versus rares. They'll be using commons, I'll be using rares. So my team of rares is a lot of debuff dinos so if you use something with immunity or superiority strike you see i have um you know cool Sukas gen 2 uh Sucutator, uh a raptor so if you use dinos with immunity or superiority strike you should do good against this uh let's see a pado a pado i think has pinning instead of a superiority superiority is for the brachy uh the brachiopods uh d cell hmm Oh, by the way, uh, 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 Cooler Gen 2 could also do that, like, zero damage thing, too. Here, I'll show you guys. Like, uh, uh, like how Mono does it. Since, um, attack buffs and debuffs are, um, additive, so two debuffs of over 50%, or two debuffs that add over, uh, or equal to 100% means that they're going to do zero damage unless they also have a um, attack buff. So not a... So multipliers don't count in that. Multiplier is calculated separately. If you guys want, I could do a video explaining the whole damage calculation process. Alright, there's D-cell. Um, I should be saving um, instant cripple for the D cells, but I just really like seeing the zero damages. All right, one more, and that should be down. Hmm. Like dinos with superiority, um, just common dinos. I mean, uh, you know, you got Parasaur, Iguanodon. Uh, what else? Uh, Stegosaurus. So those are all good ones to use against this team. All right, no, that's down. Let's see what else they bring. Also, dinos with immunity. You got the Magic on Gen Two, Opiacodon. Those are really good dinos to use against this team. Um, let's see if they're gonna pounce for us. So I'm gonna into cripple it. Pounce. There's the pounce. All right. Then I'll have to distracting. Yep, they swapped. Okay, strike. For some reason, I thought it was impact. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a cripple with zero damage. Assuming they go impact. Oh, no, go ability strike. Well, at least they learned something. No, I could just keep up knowing. Um, or rotating between null and uh. Since it doesn't have that much damage, anyways. Like, instant cripple, unless I'm predicting their moves, isn't really useful on Coolest Sugus Gen 2. And, like, even sometimes, like, you, like right now, I'm just, I'm just helping it by <laughs> picking up the uh, delay from Impact. There goes Cola, but the zero damage thing is cool. 
Santiago. Hmm. Spino. Spino, uh, uh, bleed actually goes through armor, by the way, if you guys don't know. So that's cool. But not through shields. Shields and armors are calculated separately when dealing with bleed. Alright, so what? A strike could kill it. Are they gonna swap out or no? I, yeah, um, okay. I probably wouldn't have swapped out though. Oh well. Uh, I guess it's okay to swap out too since. Spino doesn't do that much damage on a strike. Oh, there's a lucky crit. Yep, long protection, so my next uh, exploit wound won't do as much damage over time. So what's that? Um, should do what? Uh, 900 damage over time now? Oh. 1.8. Never mind then. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it does go through shield. What was I thinking? Oh, I was probably thinking. So. Oh. Um, but they are calculated separately. Unlike uh buffs and debuffs but anyways um i'm gonna instant cripple them just to see if they've learned yet to not <laughs> pound an instant cripple dino on turn one. Oh, that's that's good all right superiority strike it and it should be over the last dino is that uh you glow which has like no HP left. All right, good game then. No impact. And that is that. All right, RCR, good game. Thanks for the uh, first challenge. Now moving on to the next one. Let's see. I'm ch uh, let's see, I'm gonna check my list. Who's, oh, Beast of Beyond is supposed to challenge me, all right. And then after that, I think I queued uh, Cosmos after that. All right, so this one should be interesting. It's what commons versus rares. So, or not common versus rares, rares, rares versus epics. Mm, uh, a lot of people say rare versus epics should be the easiest. I wouldn't say it's the easiest, but it is definitely easier than um, probably. I don't know. Um, People say epics versus legendaries is the hardest, but I, I still think epics versus legendary is, is quite easy. But granted, all of these are hard, um, but... Who knows? And this shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna short defense. I'm gonna stun it and then take it out with another hit afterwards. Unless this doesn't stun, then that'll be disastrous for me. And unlike that uh, last time, I had more variety to choose from with epics, so. It's not much of a theme going on here because like all the good rares all debuff like um uh Sugitator, uh you know other rares with debuffs uh Wuro. look of gen 2 the raptors all right so this boss suk is this is going to be a bit of a problem for me. I'll have to. Then Bracky. And just for that outspeed, I guess. 
Then it should be enough. Unless they... Let's see what happens if they... Mm, I don't know. They might swap instead of adrenaline. Yep. Or not swap. Oh, they stayed in, though. Um, That was one decision I did not expect. I don't know why that happened. Maybe they were expecting me to security again. That could be an explanation. All right, Aeneasuchus is now slowed. Mm, that's an extra two times damage on it now. All right, oh, that's quite a lot. Oh, there goes Bronto. <laughs> Let's see, I want to use Spino. Since uh, it has a rampage now, which is great for Spino, or Spino Gen 2. Um, let's see. Rampage should take it out. Um, I don't think Dremlin's gonna save it either. Uh, whoa, it's five HP. It doesn't matter if they swap. It's gonna get hit by a lethal wound, which does. Quite a bit of DOT. This is like 0.66 over turns. So even like, like it's pounce. One of it, a pounce isn't going to kill me. So I could like, if it pounces me, I could just swap next turn and DOT will take it. All right. Good game, beast. That was very interesting, I'd say. Hmm. I don't know. There's There's just so many good epics you could use. And there are a lot of good rares too, so um, it's more of a toss-up for epic versus rare, I think. All right, next up is Cosmos Gaming, so we're doing uh, commons versus rares this round. Um, I changed up my team a bit. I put some dinos I kind of wanted to try out. They're like uh, Dimensiodon, uh, other dinos. What, what else? I I just put them there and I forgot. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Majinosuke is another one. Uh, I hope I draw them. So it's not like Capro 2, yeah. Oh, I got three of them at least. Alright. Let's really lead with Majinosuke. It's probably not the best lead, but... Uh, let's see. Ninosuke. I don't know, Ninosuke might beat Majinosuke. It either beats Majindasukas or narrowly loses to it. Or narrowly beats it. Or... Let me see. No, Viva 2 is... Uh, no, I think it loses. Yeah, narrowly loses to it. Oh well. But whatever dino comes in next will kill Majindasukas since... Uh, Majindasukas is quite slow and... You know, it just has 120 HP left. I can't imagine a dino that can't deal that much damage at level 26. So, this thing is dead. I'll start, um, except for this dino. Uh, I don't, hmm, do they didn't draw any faster dinos? Because a ferocious cleansing impact does a lot of damage. That's... A 2.25 times damage move. Hmm. Well, it's going to impact next turn, so I'm going to use Sucatator with a, a IC to reduce that damage bit. Unless it predicted that and went for strike. But I'm better safe than sorry. Oh. Oh well. Well. Nothing I can do about that. Lethal wound. Um, it's taking them quite some time to use your moves. I wonder if they like disconnected or something. Hmm. And it's using its basic move too, so it, they could have disconnected. I hope that's not the case. Well, anyways, Tarbo is down. Hmm.
They're gonna suck. Oh well. That's that. I'm just gonna fast say pick out the next hour then. I'll see how if they're disconnecting or not. Oh, so they're not disconnected. Huh? That's a relief, but um I'm also still puzzled on why they didn't use impact at all. I mean your strike is gonna get instant crippled anyways, and if you use it after the round that I just used instant cripple, that would yeah, you could just keep on baiting my instant cripple out. Well, anyways. Ooh, that's lucky for me. Uh, just lethal wounded into an anki gen too. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for damage. Oh, no, no, that's a horrible idea. Why did I just do that? Oh, no, 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 no. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. I was confusing Anki Gen 2's moveset with uh, U plus Ephelosis. Oh, well. Hmm. Uh, let's see if I could, like, just... stall this out for the DOT. One more duty, I don't think. Well, I am uh, vulnerable. I don't know if another one takes me out or not. All right, so they're either gonna swap out or it's, oh, no, no, no. I am, oh, oh yeah. I I, I thought the turn was over. Never mind then. Oh, that's all the challenges we have for today. So, um, I'm doing some more later, and I'll record those and have them up um, another day. But if you do want to challenge me, then um, join our Discord, which I'll link down below, and sign up for the challenges. Um, so far, three have challenged me, and none of them have been successful. I really, really hope someone could find a, a strategy to defeat any of my um, teams and um, as difficult as it seems it is doable it is very doable you just have to think really really hard about it and I really hope someone steps up to the challenge and defeats that team and I'll be waiting for whoever does that and it'll be very exciting when that happens all right I'll see you guys tomorrow